we're at the social studio. Hi, ladies. So we are seated at the front. Yay. Thank you. We're going to be super close to the host. Awesome. Hi, everyone. So around two weeks ago, I had the privilege of watching the social TV live. The Social TV Show is a Canadian TV show that usually airs live from 1 to 2 p.m. It's like a Canadian version of The View or The Talk. And they usually cover topics that are heavily talked about in social media. Hence the title, The Social. Since having my daughter Avery, the show has been my source for news. And I love it because the host, instead of just delivering the news to their audience, they actually engage the audience and instead of just delivering the news, they talk about the news. They let the audience state their opinions when they're there and they let people watching the show tweet them and ask them their opinions about the news. So it's very, it's very social. <laughs> I just really love those show and I really had a good time watching them live but apparently it's not easy to get in. So on this video, I am going to tell you some tips and advice that I think helped me to get in and get a ticket for the show and also a way to be seated up front watching the show. So let's get started. So first, you go to their website, thesocial.ca and on the right hand corner you'll see a tab that says that says tickets you click that in and you fill up a simple form you fill up the form with your basic information then when you get to the part where you're asked for a number of guests i suggest you choose the maximum and try to get your friends to attend because i think the number of people you have with gets you points and chance to be on the front row that's my first tip to put the maximum amount of guests that you can put in my second tip is to put in a male guest on your guest list. Uh, I think that it really helped me to get in because of course most of the audience there will be female and once you put in a male guest, it, I think it adds points to you getting in because there's not a lot of males there and of course they wanted to get a male opinion on the show. So make sure you put even just one male guest. Don't worry about the initial guest list. Just put whoever and make sure to put one male guest because you can easily change it on your final guest list when you got the confirmation that you get a ticket. I initially put my husband's name on my guest list but my husband couldn't go because of work conflict. I ended up going with my sister and my beautiful friend. So once you submit the form, all you need to do is wait for that confirmation email and that confirmation email serves as your ticket. On that email, it emphasizes for you to wear bright clothes. Basically, they just want you to look good on camera. And if you want to be seated up front in the studio, don't take this advice lightly because surely enough, people who exerted an effort to put makeup on and to dress really well are the ones who got the front seat. It was so hard with my friends, really, because I really want to be seated up front. And I was like, I was like, come on, put, put more lipstick on and put your heels on. And I was like, I was girdled. But that got us in to the front row, so we were happy. The call time for the show is 12 noon. But it doesn't mean that when you're early, you get to have the front seat. No. When you get in, you will be briefed by this really, really funny guy. I think his name is Derek. And he sets the mood for the audience. Basically, what he told us was to be interactive, to state our opinion when asked, to just not hold our emotions. If something's funny, just laugh out loud. And if there's things being questioned, just state your opinion. But right off the bat, be interactive with that guy. If he's being funny, laugh. If he's asking you questions, answer. Because he is the guy who would actually decide the seating arrangement. Now, don't hate on the guy if he doesn't put you on the front seat. It doesn't mean anything. Front or not in the front, you'll still love the show and you'll still enjoy being in the show because it's not... It's not a big, big studio. So when you're seated in the studio, just remember, 
don't be shy. Treat your hosts as if they were your friends and if they ask you questions, answer. And if there's something funny, laugh. If you disagree on something, blurt it out. Because guess what? I thought Derek, the guy who was briefing us before we got in the studio, was kidding, but he wasn't. On our second break, I actually received a $50 voucher from Jean Machine in a 24-hour How to Survive in a 24-Hour World book. It's really amazing. And that's just because I was being real and I was just being so interactive with the whole self. I was laughing when appropriate. I was interacting and I was showing my opinion uh, based on my facial expressions and verbally. And so that got me a $50 voucher and a book. And before the show, I was already telling my friends, I don't care if they don't have a lot of freebies. I just wish for a book and I got one. So it pays to be yourself and it pays to be real. But don't worry if you don't get any price when you're in the studio. We didn't get any freebies inside the studio, unfortunately. But I think if you go every Mondays or Thursdays, they have a lot of freebies during those days. Don't quote me on that, but I just noticed that. When you leave the show, you wouldn't leave empty-handed because on the whole month of March, you'll be receiving a, the social Tumblr, and it's really, really cute. Overall, I would really advise for you all to go watch the social live or any TV show live because it's just a nice break. I was with my girlfriends who are also moms and my sister is not a mom yet. But it was such a nice break from work or from like taking care of the kids and doing household chores. It was just such a nice break and since it was early, the show ended up at 2 p.m. We waited up at around 2 30 to 3 so we can have photos with the host and i even asked melissa grello for a video message for my mom and she obliged she was really nice all of them are really nice uh, and at 3 p.m we were done we wanted to roam around downtown but we realized that hello we are moms and we need to take care of our kids so when we went home we still had a lot of time in our hands i still had time to do household chores and take care of avery and i just had more energy because i had a good experience before doing the chores that's it guys that's my tip and advice on how to get in how to be seated up front and how, how to get a price for being an interactive audience <laughs> so i hope you enjoy this video guys and if this video ever help you to getting in the show kindly comment below and share me your stories about the show and tag me on instagram my instagram name is all dialed up by c and i really hope that you enjoyed this video see you on my next one bye oh, it's over. It's so much fun uh we got some food bags and i got a book for being one of the good audience i don't know what that means <laughs> yeah and we got this Tumblr, the social.